Hi, my name is Jackie, and I have been inspired to make a few videos, and um, this first one, I'm just going to kind of go over what it is I kind of feel inspired to do. Um, I feel like I want to talk more about balance, and when I say balance, I mean between people and the planet and animals and stuff like that, so I kind of want to just kind of touch base on who I am, if my cat will get out of the way. Thank you. Um, pretty much, I'm a, a very big animal person, if you can't tell. Cat wants to get in this video. But I really am tired of people purposely hurting animals when they don't really know what this animal is or what this animal's purpose is. Um, so I'm going to start with um, pest. Let's say like uh, mice or rats you have in your garage or in your home or in your shed. And the first thing you do is you go to your local hardware store and you want to get rid of it. Well, the first things you're going to find are pesticides, things that will kill it, um, poison. Now, most people don't think any more about it. They think, well, I'll get rid of the mouse or the rat and that'll be the end of it because they're nasty and they carry diseases. And yes, they do. But what people don't realize is that when you kill this mouse, if he doesn't die right then and there at that spot, if he gets outside, there's a possibility that a predator, um, let's say a hawk, an eagle, a fox, a coyote, a wolf, even your neighborhood dog, could get a hold of it, eat this poisoned rat, this poisoned rodent. Now you've killed that animal. And with a lot of your birds of prey, when they go and they get this, they also feed it to their children. So you could have possibly killed a nest of eagles, a nest of hawks, uh, so forth and so on. And a lot of people don't realize that. Now, there are other things you can do. Uh, one, you can try to put traps out. I'm not talking about the, the cruel ones that, you know, pin the, the rodent down and it suffers and dies. There are metal traps that you could get um, and let the rodent out somewhere out in the woods or something like that. Uh, also... I don't like doing it, but it does work. You can put just regular Coca-Cola down. Uh, they can't burp or fart, so what they do is kind of explode, um, which is nasty, and that sounds cruel as well. But when you put poison out to kill these rodents, sometimes you'll get other, uh, other little things like squirrels, uh, possums, raccoons, anything like that, and now you've killed a whole different species. And let's talk about the possums real quick. With possums, you want possums in your yard because they're going to eat the ticks. They're going to eat bugs. They're going to um, run off other rodents and stuff like that. So they're, they're good to have around, but most people have this misconception that because it's a rodent that they're going to get rabies and it's going to chase them through their house and it's going to kill them or, or something like that. And that's just not what's going to happen with a possum. Um, if you don't know what a possum looks like, please look it up on the internet and you'll get an idea. They actually can make really good pets. I'm not saying anybody go out and go get a possum make a pet, but I'm saying that they do make pets. Um, there was one that I picked up on the side of the road that was just laying there and the poor little thing held my hand as I took it to go get help. So they're, they're not scary. They're not creepy. They're not vicious. They, they look like they can be, but they're really not. And I just want people to be more in tune with what's going on in their surroundings. Like I said, you know, if you don't know something because somebody didn't tell you, you don't know any better. So I'm not saying that people purposely are doing this because they want to kill every living species on the planet that's possibly could get in their yard. I'm just saying that we need to be more aware. And I want to make videos... Uh, about different things that maybe people don't know to kind of wake you up and make you kind of look into it a little bit more. Um, give me a shout back if this is something that you would be interested in. I mean, I can do things as far as uh, maybe giving basics on cooking, baking, um, maybe uh, ideas around the house, just little bitty things that uh, maybe people just don't think of that they wish they would have thought of. Um, that can help people out, but I, I really feel this need that I need to, to do these little videos, but like I said, this is my first one, and 
it's more of a, a nature kind of thing. So what I would say is let poison be the extremely last thing that you go to when you try to get rid of rodents in your yard. Um, I'm not saying staying out in your yard yelling shoo, 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 or going to get a bunch of cats is going to work. But, you know, think of something different because every action you take in your life does have an effect on something else. And if anybody's ever been in a predicament where you say, oh, well, it's only hurting me, and then you find out that it actually hurts your mom and your dad and your job or whatever, then you're like, golly, I didn't think that would really affect anything else but me, but you find out that it does. And it's the same in life. Whenever you put out poison to kill rodents, you're thinking only of yourself and your property, which is understandable. I'm not calling anybody mean or hateful. I understand that. But you don't think of the bigger picture of the other animals that they're here to eat these things. And when you put poison in a rat or a mouse, you don't think about the big hawk that you see flying around your yard. You're just like, oh, it's a beautiful bird, but you don't think that maybe that's what he's looking for. So if it goes down and gets this po poisoned rodent, now you've killed that hawk, you've possibly killed its offspring. Um, it's a big domino effect, and when you start getting rid of those types of animals, then you're going to find that you're going to have an overrun of rodents. Does this make sense? So you have to have this balance. So please put that in consideration when you're doing things, and um, always use your head. Always think about something before you take an action, because like I said, there's always consequence to whatever act you take it could be a good consequence or it could be a bad consequence but there's always a consequence to it so you want to make sure that you're not harming anything and doing any damage to um, anyone else or to any other living species this is our planet people um, we all have to live here we have to learn to live together and I'm not just talking about people as in just people I'm talking about all of us the trees the water the animals, we all have to live together and we need to start thinking more of except just ourselves and quit being this me, me, me generation where everything revolves around me because it doesn't. And I'm sorry, we all have our own personal problems and we all have things that we have to do in our lives, but you're not the only person on this planet. So when you cut in front of a line, you may have prevented somebody else that had somewhere else to go or maybe this person needed to go pick up their child from school and you cut in front of them and held them up but you're only thinking about you what you need to do and uh, you run a red light because you don't want to sit through another red light well you know you could have caused an accident or maybe the people behind you got an accident because you ran this light it's not just about you you have to start thinking of the things that you do that affect others and uh, it's sad to say I see it all the time and I get so aggravated but it's like they've push just more into this me, me, me thing, and everybody only thinks about me. And I think you have to think about yourself. You have to take care of yourself. But you really need to think you're not the only person here. You're not the only living being on this planet, and we really need to start realizing that more and start treating other living things on this planet with just as much respect as we would want someone to treat us. And I think if we can do that, that's a start of a healing process that will be better for everybody all over the world, not just here in the United States or just in this one particular state I live in, but all over. And like I said, it's it's a small gesture. It's just a small little thing. It's not anything major, and I'm not calling anybody any names or judging anybody because we've all been in those predicaments where we're in a hurry or we want something done, we want it done immediately. But I just would want people to kind of think a little bit more before they do things. Um, like I said, this is just something new I'm wanting to do. So if there's other things that uh, you'd want to hear about or would want me to touch on, uh, definitely let me know. I'm also a, um, a psychic. I um, can do card readings. Um, I do dream interpretations. And I get my own visions. Um I can talk more on those or if you've seen any other videos I've had out there where I've had some really off the wall things. Uh, sometimes I interpret them wrong and then I have to go back and kind of um, reinterpret them. But I, uh, when something really touches me and I feel like I got to talk about it, I will get on here and talk about it. So, But I mainly want this to kind of be like a kind of wake up thing. Um, anybody who wants to know anything about uh, 
politics or how something runs. I mean, we can touch on things like that. I'll make things kind of short and simple, but to the point. And uh, maybe this will grow into something, um, and we'll see. But uh, that's what I want to reach on today. I feel like that's something I need to do. I need to make small little videos, maybe like once a week or something, on just different, any kind of subject. Nothing uh, newsworthy, because I'm not going to watch several different news channels to get all the updates on everything. I'm not an investigative journalist. I am just an everyday kind of person that works two jobs and pretty much doesn't do anything but clean, eat, and sleep when I'm not working. So um, I'm not going to go really out of my way to do kind of any investigative journalism. But if someone asks me a question, if it's something I feel like I can answer, I will. Or if I can't, I will do my best to try to get you an answer on it. I, I firmly believe that if someone asks me a question, I don't know it. I will, I will do my best to get you an answer. So anything like that, just... Um, ask me and I'll see what I can do uh, but let's just kind of concentrate this week on not being as selfish not being all zoned in just just yourself and open your eyes a little bit to realize that you're not the only one and like I said you don't know me from the guy next door maybe to the person down the street but be a little bit more considerate and think about your choices before you do them because, like I said, there's always consequences to everything that you do. And you want to make sure that you try to make the right decisions that doesn't hurt anyone else or any living thing on these things that you do. So if you have any questions when you go to buy something to get rid of rodents or, or bugs, you know, ask. You know, is there something else that may not hurt any other living being? I mean... I don't even put down uh, stuff for the grass because I have wild ducks that come and eat in my yard. And I don't want them to get anything in their digestive systems that could make them sick. So I don't put anything down in my yard anymore like I used to. Um, yeah, everybody else may have a little bit of greener grass, but I don't want to hurt any animal. So I, um, you know, I, I just deal with a little bit of weeds and go out there and cut them and weed eat or whatever. It's It's fine. I mean... I just, I just don't want to hurt the wild ducks. And sometimes I get geese. I've had some turtles. Um, I just don't want them to get hurt. So besides not having the greatest, greenest yard in the world, you know, I, I, I deal with that. Um, so like I said, you know, you don't have to be that strict on stuff. But I just want people to be more aware of their surroundings and pay a little bit more attention to something you see somebody that looks like you know they're in a hurry but they're not saying anything you know maybe let them go first if you don't have to be somewhere quick or don't purposely cut in front of people or run red lights just because you feel you 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 should you deserve it you're you're better than everybody else no no one's better than anyone else you may be better at some things but you're not the better person because you haven't walked in anyone else's shoes. You've only walked in yours. So until you walk in everybody on the planet's shoes, then you can say if you're the better person. Um, I don't think I'm better than anybody. I think I have lots of room for improvement. And I hope every day that I do become a better person. But I am not the best person, if that makes sense. And I think more people need to think that way. You'll be happier. People that are around you will be happier. And we can all get along. You know, it, it's it's simple. It's so simple. It, it's, it makes you want to cry. It's so simple. So um, take care of one another. Do good deeds. Stay in the light. And uh, le let me know what you think. If this is something you're interested in, think this might be something kind of cool to do once a week, let me know. And... Um, Take care. All right. Bye.